Picture this, a dimly lit room, the screen flickering to life, and the mesmerizing world of cinema unfolding before your eyes. In the realm of classic films, there exists a treasure trove of timelessness, where stories are told with an elegance that transcends eras. And nestled within this archive is a gem from 1956, High Society. Do you remember the first time you stumbled upon this cinematic wonder? Perhaps it was a lazy Sunday afternoon or a cozy movie night with loved ones. The opening chords of the soundtrack, like an old familiar tune, resonating with the echoes of the past, drawing you into a world where grace and charm are the currency of the day. Was it the witticisms exchanged between the characters that caught your attention? The subtle glances and eloquent dialogues weaving a tapestry of emotions, making you an unwitting observer to their lives? Or was it the visual feast of opulent mansions, flowing gowns, and dapper suits that left an indelible mark on your memory? And oh, the characters. As the story unfolds, their quirks and complexities unfold as well. Their joys and dilemmas, so oddly relatable despite the years that separate us, reminding us that the human experience remains timeless and universal. Now, let's step beyond the surface and delve into the hidden anecdotes that enrich the tapestry of high society. Behind every scene and every line of dialogue lie intriguing snippets that add layers to your appreciation. Did you know that random fact one? Or have you ever pondered on random fact two? So, as we embark on this journey of cinematic discovery, prepare to be surprised, amused, and captivated anew by the magic of high society. Get ready to uncover the secrets that even the most ardent fans might have missed. After all, every film is a universe, and every universe is a treasury of stories waiting to be told. And now, without further ado, let the curtains rise on the stage of random facts about high society, where celluloid dreams and reality intertwine in the most enchanting dance. Let's unveil the curtain on the obscure, the fascinating, and the delightful tidbits that make this classic even more endearing. Welcome to the world behind the silver screen, where facts are as charming as fiction, and the story never truly ends. Let's explore, reminisce, and celebrate high society in all its glory. High Society, a 1956 musical comedy, emerges as a vibrant concoction of romance and music, a remake of the 1940 film The Philadelphia Story. Set amidst opulent settings and elite social circles, the film follows the tangled love life of socialite Tracy Lord, portrayed by Grace Kelly, as she navigates between her ex-husband and a charming reporter covering her upcoming wedding. The move is iconic characters, brought to life by the charismatic cast, infuse the storyline with wit and charm. The film's unique style lies in its lavish production design, exquisite costumes, and a lively jazz-infused soundtrack, featuring memorable performances of classic songs. High Society not only showcases the allure of the upper class but also delves into the complexities of love, marriage, and societal expectations. Its impact on popular culture endures through references, homages, and its contribution to the great American songbook. With its blend of romance, humor, and music, High Society remains an enduring classic that encapsulates the elegance and spirit of its era, continuing to captivate audiences across generations. In 1,956 seconds High Society, the Kirkaby Mansion at 750 Bel Air Road, Los Angeles, serves as an iconic backdrop. Louis Armstrong's bus pulls up to this grand estate, with a touch of movie magic, an extra floor added through matte painting. Interestingly, this same mansion later finds itself in the television realm as the Clampets lavish abode in the Beverly Hillbillies, a residence with a dual cinematic personality. The allure of sharing a stage drew Frank Sinatra to high society. The film granted him the coveted opportunity to perform a duet alongside his lifelong inspiration, Bing Crosby. Sinatra's childhood idol became his co-star, their harmonious partnership a dream realized. Serendipity intervened during production. The realization struck that Crosby and Sinatra lacked a shared musical moment. In response, the song Well, Did You Ever was swiftly incorporated, rescuing the situation. This track, originating from a prior Cole Porter musical, sealed the silver screen camaraderie of these legendary crooners. High Society is more than a movie, it's a tapestry woven with the threads of star-studded connections and last-minute inspiration. The Kirkaby Mansion's dual roles, Sinatra's homage to Crosby, and the 11th hour edition of Musical Magic all underscore the film's enduring charm. In the tapestry of Hollywood history, high society gleams as a gem with hidden stories, waiting for admirers to discover its multifaceted brilliance. In a cinematic twist that pays homage to its predecessor, High Society of 1956 dances to a different beat, despite its roots in the Philadelphia story. This musical remake, however, swaps the city of brotherly love for the coastal charm of Newport, Rhode Island. The change in scenery wasn't just for show, it capitalized on the renowned jazz festival hosted in Newport, setting the stage for a musical extravaganza that jazz enthusiasts and cinema buffs alike can't help but tap their feet to. A touch of regal elegance graced the film beyond its plotline. The costumes that draped the characters were the brainchild of none other than Helen Rose. Notably, Rose not only adorned the cast but also had a hand in fashioning Grace Kelly's iconic wedding gown for her nuptials with Prince Rainier. It's a seamless marriage of on-screen glamour and real-life fairy tale, spun in threads and celluloid. 
Speaking of Grace Kelly, the film gleams with another gem that intertwines art with reality. Freshly betrothed to Prince Rainier of Monaco, Kelly bedecked herself in authenticity. She wore her actual engagement ring, a resplendent 10.5 carat emerald cut diamond, flanked by the understated elegance of two baguettes. The silver screen met reality, and her character's engagement sparkler dazzled with an air of genuine grandeur. High society doesn't merely replicate, it reinvents and revitalizes with these intriguing facts woven into the fabric of its existence. As the reels spin, the glamour, the music, and the story play on, immortalizing a year when cinema truly lived up to its name, entertaining the masses while etching its moments into history. High Society, unveiling the tidbits beyond the silver screen glamour in the glitzy world of 1,956 seconds High Society. Where opulence and romance intertwine, a web of intriguing facts casts a new light on the silver screen classic. Amidst the harmonious tunes and sparkling visuals, one nugget of history stands out, the iconic duet Well, Did You Have Awe, as performed by Frank Sinatra and Bing Crosby, actually finds its roots in a 1939 Broadway musical. The original rendition debuted in Dewberry Was a Lady, where it was Charles Walters and Betty Grable who first lent their voices to Cole Porter's witty lyrics. Yet, the allure of high society goes beyond melodies. The age dynamics of its star-studded cast have left an indelible mark. Grace Kelly's youth, at 26, juxtaposed against Frank Sinatra's season 40 years and Bing Crosby's 53, imbued the film with a unique chemistry. Their interactions on screen brought a captivating blend of perspectives, enhancing the narrative's depth and intrigue. But as fate would have it, the movie carries a somber undercurrent. Louis Calhoun, a notable presence in the film, met an untimely demise in Japan shortly after his role in high society. Engaged in the filming of The Tea House of the August Moon, his passing cast a shadow over both projects. The role he left behind in The Tea House of the August Moon was recast, leaving high society as his final silver screen appearance, a poignant reminder of the impermanence of art and life. In the grand tapestry of Hollywood's history, high society retains its allure, not just for its cinematic brilliance but for the hidden layers that lend it an air of mystique. As viewers continue to be entranced by its timeless charm, these lesser-known fragments invite us to delve deeper into the enigmatic world behind the glimmering facade. Engage with the past, as high society whispers its secrets, woven with the threads of history and stardom. A tale that resonates far beyond the screen, a melody that transcends time. Let the curtains rise once more on the tapestry of forgotten narratives and unsung stories within the realms of celluloid wonder. The house that held secrets, a glimpse into the estate of high society in the glittering world of Hollywood's golden age, where celluloid dreams met real-life drama, the 1956 film High Society shone as a beacon of opulence and romance. Yet, behind the scenes of this musical extravaganza, a curious twist of fate tied the movie to a real-life tragedy that few may know. The exterior of Dexter Haven's lavish mansion, a centerpiece of the film's grandeur, was no mere set piece. This mansion, an embodiment of affluence, later found itself entwined with the dark saga of Sonny Von Bülow and her husband Klaus. This opulent abode became the backdrop to an eerie turn of events, as Sonny Von Bülow slipped into a coma from which she never emerged. At the heart of high society lies a timeless tune, True Love, penned by Cole Porter exclusively for the film. This melody not only enraptured audiences but also ascended to the heights of the music charts, becoming a million seller. Grace Kelly and Bing Crosby, the enchanting duo who brought the song to life on screen, were awarded platinum records in a rare accolade. Notably, Grace Kelly, who had ascended to the title of Princess Grace by then, stands as the sole sitting royalty to receive such an honor. While Hollywood is no stranger to mix-ups and mishaps, the 1957 Academy Awards bore witness to an unparalleled gaffe. High Society, a cinematic masterpiece of class and sophistication, inadvertently shared the spotlight with a Bowery Boys comedy released a year prior. The Academy's confusion led to an erroneous nomination in the Best Writing, Original Story category. The screenwriters of the misidentified film, Edward Burns and Elwood Ullman, graciously declined the unexpected honor once the mistake was uncovered. As the credits rolled and the curtains fell on High Society, its legacy continued to shimmer in the annals of cinema. From mansions that harbored life's enigmatic turns to songs that struck a chord across generations, this film transcended its celluloid form, weaving a narrative that still captivates. And so, the celluloid tapestry of high society remains interwoven with tales both tragic and triumphant, a testament to the enduring power of cinema to mirror and shape our world. As the curtains draw to a close on this journey through the enchanting realms of high society, it's a poignant reminder that the magic of cinema resides not just in its frames, but in the spaces between them. Each character's laughter, every whispered secret, and all those melodies suspended in time are not just celluloid and sound, they are threads woven into the tapestry of your own memories. High Society isn't just a movie, it's a time capsule that captures not only the glamour of the 1950s but also the essence of human connection. As you've embarked on this cinematic expedition, perhaps you've found a piece of yourself reflected in the heartaches and joys of the characters. 
Maybe you've hummed along with Bing Crosby's soothing voice or marveled at Grace Kelly's elegance. It's a reminder that in the realms of the silver screen, we often find fragments of our own stories. So, take a moment to embrace your personal connection with this cinematic gem. What part of this tale resonated with you the most? Was it the clash of old and new worlds? The music that wove its way through the narrative? Or perhaps, like a subtle chord progression, it's something intangible that's hard to put into words. Share your thoughts, your memories, your emotions, for in doing so, you not only enrich your own experience but also join a timeless chorus of admirers hove laughed, sighed, and reveled in the world of high society. Thank you for accompanying me through the maze of nostalgia and reflection. Your time and interest are truly appreciated, and I eagerly anticipate the symphony of your thoughts. Until our next cinematic exploration, keep those memories close and those conversations alive. Here's to the eternal allure of the silver screen, where stories breathe and dreams sparkle.